Hello, welcome to this video today. So I've been out flying my DJI Avata 2 um, uh, at this uh, location through the trees and uh, in the main open area. And I thought it would be interesting to show you how I actually go through uh, color grading and uh, basically just editing uh, this one uh, video. The video is more gonna be about taking the D-Log M uh, video footage and then adding that uh, contrast, saturation, white balance back again and without using uh, some form of LUT or whatever from a DJI or making yourself. It's not really di very difficult. So in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you how I do it and which, uh, which spots of the video I use uh, specifically uh, to adjust, all right? So let's just get rid of this uh, left and right uh, first of all, and let's just go through the video to see how many colors that we can find, right? Because we know that we've got uh, these, these greens, the grass, we've got the, the leaves, the brown, we have this gray from the stones, and we have, if we come through and search again, we I, I know that I have this orange here, right? This landing pad orange, and it will turn blue later because it, it flips over, I believe. Um, and uh, we then have the sky, right? We have We have some blue in the sky in the background as well. And we can see the blue here again. So this is a good pitch. This is a good picture here right now. Is when we've got the sky as well that we can we can check. Let's keep going through. Let's keep going through until we see. Oh look, there we go. That's that's a good one there. Because there we have there we have the blue in the sky. We have the green. We have the leaves as well. We have the grey. We have the trees in the background. And we've got some lights here. We've got different shades of of the sky here. So let's just put a marker there to show that we've got a place to look at here. And this is, we, we need some like um, area where there's a high exposure as well. So we want to have a look, see where there's some, some like whites and stuff here. So there's, there's lots of whites here and we, we can see this, there's some tone in the sky here and there's some, some uh, bright parts here, some blue, and there's some shape in the clouds here. And we don't want to lose that, right? So let's just put another marker there. Let's now come into uh, now come into the, uh, the the color. Now I this is how I do it. All right. So I take the color board first of all, and uh, just as a basically a quick um, marker for me to know, I come to the uh, what was it? I come to the video scopes and I put this then on uh, Luma. Right. I'm no expert in this, but this is how I do it. All right. I come to then the exposure, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp up. Uh, the, uh, the, the the highlights here and uh, until they start clipping at the top right I'm not going to let them clip I'm just going to come up to, to them clipping and then I'm going to come down to the uh, the shadows right I'm going to keep going till they clip as well right and and there we go so when I say clip down this bottom right when they when they're still exactly the way they are but when they're yeah they're, when they're shut off if we come here you can see uh, that they, they 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 don't clip anymore these parts left to right obviously the blacks uh, from uh, this side bit, all right? So they are already uh, clipped because they are intrinsically black. So next thing that we do is we're going to come and just try and increase the uh, the exposure, right? Without losing, and we can turn off uh, these video scopes now because the the key thing to look at now, whoops, key thing to look at now is the sky, right? Because you can see that our lights are clipping. We haven't got that detail in the in the sky anymore, right? So if we, we boost the, the exposure up and then bring the highlights down, you see the, the cloud detail is coming back again, all right? And we've got all those colors and those detail back in there. And let's bring the, uh, the, the, the uh, shadows back down. This is where we're putting some contrast in, but we're keeping the, the detail in the sky. We're not clipping any colors. Right, and we're adding a little bit of uh, shadows, or oh, so mid tones, sorry. And this is all uh, uh, per, done per eye, right? And I try and get the exposure up as much as possible, but then come and adjust the, the colors, or adjust the lights. We're just caring about exposure here, right? So we're getting as much detail in as possible, but getting as much contrast in as possible as well. So I like to, to see that we can see all these shadows, okay? And this is, remember, my way of doing it, as in my eyes seeing how to do this. And once I'm happy that I've got the right amount of contrast in here. Remember, this is this we're here, we're just caring about contrast. If I do too much lights here, we, we lose the detail in the sky. If I go too, too, too low, uh, we, we don't have much um, 
or it looks a little bit gloomy and dreamy, doomy, gloomy and doomy. Uh, so I think I think if we bring it down here and bring that up there and bring that up there, and we bring the lights up there a little bit. And remember, this is all. There's no no set set way of doing this. All right, and I'm kind of happy. I think that we've got the right, right amount of contrast back in this now, and we've got all the detail in the sky still. All right, so now we can come over to our second point and check to see whether our second point agrees with this. All right, and let's just have a look to see whether we can adjust this even further. And it looks good. It, it's just like when when you start seeing remembering what your eyes saw right this is the important thing is your eyes need to remember what you saw and okay so i'm I'm kind of happy that we've got we've got this now all right so next thing to do is come to saturation and this is where i'm just going to blast out the saturation and put it all the way up so we've got all the greens are really greens the browns are really browns and the whites are really white now that's the whole point of saturation and desaturating it we're removing all of the colors so we're going to add complete saturation to it and we're just going to bring them down to the highlights just till, till i can remember what it looked like now now grass isn't that green right in the in this time of year so we have to bring it back down again now we're going to do the midtones and just look what it looks like really it makes the greens too green again we're going to come down and now they're too dull so i'm more looking at, at the this area here and then like this area here to see how the different things go and when i see it too much i'll bring it back down again and i'm looking at the sky as well obviously this blues we're looking at and uh i think about there is okay and then let's do then the shadows and obviously we don't that's too it's too much but this is purely subjective here now and there is no right or wrong answer. If you think you like it, it is correct. Okay, so now we've bought the uh, bought this this done correctly. All right, let's have a look at the other other scene. And I kind of like that maybe. Let's just see uh, if we can bring this up and down a little bit. So now we've got to the color, right? And we've gone to go on the highlights. Now I'm going to hold down uh, the uh, shift button, right? So it can't go left or right. So we're just going up and down. And this is now basically kind of adjusting uh, the, the the white balance, the colors of how it sees it. And we're going to come to the midtones and just adjust this to get the color colors correct how I want it. Remember, subjective once again. And uh, we're just trying to put all the colors in how we want it. And now we want an overall like tints to it, which I don't. So I'm going to leave that as a zero. And now let's just come and have back a look at the other scene as well. And now let's run this again and see how this looks. Yeah, we can still see the, the skies, all the clouds. We can see all of the detail in the clouds and we can see the detail in the ground. The shadows, uh, yeah, we can see in the tree, we can see the details in the tree. It's all not darkened out. Remember trees, they kind of like suck in the light already. So there are always dark areas dark areas here but we can see the bark and we can see the detail all the time which is nice and it's not too black and remember i've got the iso on uh, a, a limit so it can it can move up and down between 100 and 200 but we see all the detail in the floor that's good detail on the floor as well and and in the ground i like the shadows right this is my personal opinion i like the shadows to be rich to be as dark as possible but i like to be able to see the shadow so i like the, the blacks i like to be able to have be black but the shadows, I still like to have some detail in the shadows. And the lights, I like to be as light as possible, but I don't want them blowing out, right? So in the sky, you can see this, see the nice gray cloud. And here, we can still see the whites. The sun is going to blow out, right? So we're expecting the, the sun to be white, right? But we still want to see these blues around it. And we can see the whites in the background, and we can see the, the, the buildings. We've got all the, the footage is there. So this is where the sun is, all right? So let's just have another look any further. It might be that the sun's, yeah, that's where the sun's shining through, but the sun looks like more like it's there. Um, we don't have any shadow in it as such because of all the clouds. But otherwise, it, it's looking pretty good. Um, so if you wanted to go on even further, this is where I then add the color adjustments, right? And this, this picture is already uh, okay. So we can just, oh, look, see how much better that looks. Just bring the shadows down bring them too too much it, it doesn't look nice but just bring them down that tiny little bit makes it and look we we'll see what the blacks do we could probably bring the blacks down and bring the shadows up bring the blacks down 
Remember, this is all completely subjective. Now let's have a look at the exposure. We bring the exposure up, boom, the, the, the sky is completely gone. We bring it down, it looks like it's going to rain. So we could probably leave the exposure there it is. Now let's bring the contrast up. Now look, it, it just blows the sky out already. So we've got really no movement in that. The brightness, the brightness yeah, picks up a little bit. The highlights, uh, we can bring the highlights down slightly. Look, we're getting a bit more detail in the sky now when we bring the highlights down. So that's pretty cool. So we could probably bring up the shadows maybe now we don't want them too bright i remember i said i like the contrast and now we can bring up saturation just a little bit all right so this is looking better now and this is where the sun is right so we're okay with that being blown out because the rest of the sky is perfectly fine the sun is always going to get blown out now the thing is we how can how can we make the, the footage look as real as possible for our eyes and this is all the warmth obviously right if it's really blue sky then obviously it's going to be a, a more of a tint of blue but if it's uh, warmer then it's going to be more of a tint of yellow on there so we're just going to look here and try and make it look as warm as possible because whoops that was saturation my mistake uh, because we we are in the summer and we aren't in the winter really now but just adding a little bit of the extra yellow to this one area just makes it look nice it makes it look a little bit autumny and if we remove it too much, you see there, that's like, uh, no, it's not nice. But just add that little bit of yellow. And then the tint, like add some purples and stuff. We just have a look. No, I don't like that. So remember, this is all uh, video per video. You, it's all completely subjective. And then finally, we can come to the color wheels. And this is where you can actually amend the temperature itself to see what is it I saw. And I didn't see this. This is very blue, all right? And this is very, very yellow. So now we've just got to come and see what is it I saw or what is it I like, I want people to see. And I like this, you see like there's a bit more color in the, the, the grays there, right? But I don't want too much. I don't want too much. So let's just have a look how the video rolls now. And I kind of like that, right? Like I said, this is art. This is not, this is, there's, there's no objectiveness in this. This is pure art. And if you think it looks nice, then it does look nice, right? And it's all about your perception and what you want to do because it's your video, it's your drone, your footage, and, and so on. So make it look like what you want it to look like. And I, I like that. It's, it's a nice greens in it, nice browns in it. The sky looks really cool uh, and so on. And uh, when, when I say cool, I mean like it's not as in the blues on temperature. I mean, it looks really cool as in awesome, you know? And uh, let's have another quick, quick. Uh, okay, so we, I, I can see my shoes, right? I know what color my shoes are, and and uh, that that's what my shoes look like. They're not completely white. They were completely white when I bought them, but after walking around mud and stuff, and my my jeans, you can see the the shadows in my jeans. Uh, they're a little bit too black, but that's okay. And in my jacket, my jacket is this nice, uh, like dark navy blue color, and this green jumper. So I can see that the colors are all correct. All right. Um, and I know that the landing pad is this uh, like orangey, neon orange color or whatever. So are we happy with that? Yeah, we are. Yeah, when we come back here, we can see the blues there in the sky. I like that. Anyway, with that said, this is basically, this is basically how I would, I would do this. Now, I'm no professional at this, all right? This is, <clears throat> this is me learnt. Uh, me learn how to do this and to be quite frank with you is it was Eileen my wife who, who managed to help me to see all these colors and help me to to work all this stuff out and and when I go outside I'm always studying the colors you know people say that color theory is the most important thing and it more than likely is um, but to go out and look at how the trees what color the trees are look what the colors the leaves are the buildings are the people are the sky is all the time when it's cloudy look how those things are look where all the shadows are in the trees look how uh, the grass changes in in blue sky in a slightly cloudy sky when the clouds go over the sun in a nice blue sky as well look at how all these things are and as you do, when you take these videos, you'll, you'll start thinking that's not what it looked like, right? They're, try and find the beauty in the planet with all of the colors, all right? Because it is a beautiful planet. And, uh, you know, when you film it and you photograph it, this is just even, even better, right? So next thing is we, we come onto this next clip. Uh, I only have my, my drone to do two gigabyte clips, so it skipped over to the next clip.
we can just do uh, command C here and come to this next clip and then shift command C. Whoops, or is it? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, I'm doing the wrong one again. So uh, command C and then uh, shift command V comes up and says, uh, What do you want to copy? And here we copy it again and paste it again. There we go. So I've, I've copied all of it. I basically copied this. And now by saying shift uh, command V, sorry, we can now come and paste all of the attributes here. And we can see we've got color board adjustments one and wheels one that we want to paste onto it. And we paste onto it. Now when we come here, we get all of those adjustments from that onto this one clip two. All right. With that said, uh, this is basically how I, I color correct uh, the, the D log M footage. All right. Now you can come here and change this to general, I think it is. And you've got camera LUTs here, right? And you can change uh, the camera LUTs to use the DGI uh, Avata 2. Da, 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 da. Which one was it? <clears throat> I don't think I've downloaded it actually. But I, I, you can see the other, uh, there's DJI uh, log things here, but it's not specific to the Avata. Remember the uh, the Air 3 S 24 millimeter camera is the same camera as that on the Avata 2. So you can interchange the same thing. Anyway, that was not, not the important part. With that said, I hope that you've got something out of this one video. If you are learning how to drone fly and you want to do D log M footage, I would highly recommend uh, always recording in D log M. Um, I would also advise always trying to set the uh, manual, uh, the, the, the camera to be manual mode all the time and to be able to judge uh, if you need variations of uh, um, the ISO, uh, then try and judge what ISO that you need um, because you just don't want the footage changing uh, in lights and brightnesses all the time when it, it goes backwards and forth. Like here, when you're inside the trees, it's going to be one ISO, but when you come out the trees, it's going to be another ISO here. So this is why it's important to keep it uh, on a fixed ISO. Otherwise, you're going to go from lights and darks here, and the camera's going to flick backwards and forwards. This was me changing the camera angle, and it flicked backwards and forwards. So you just want to keep that that uh, the, the level of exposure, let's call it, exactly the same. All right. So. Um, with that, with that said, if you did like this content or you want to see more uh, content like this, uh, then let me know. I'm probably not going to do it, but um, it's interesting to see. Um, it's all part of drone flying. This, you know, is editing the footage afterwards to put it online and how you get the best colors out of it. Remember, the best colors out of it is based upon you. It's not a competition. It's art, and you are making art, and the art is for you and not for other people, unless you're commissioning stuff and, and so on but this is all about art and uh yeah whilst other people are criticizing or critiquing your art you should just continue making more art to be better that's andy warhol all right so just have to let that inspire you because it inspired me okay uh, i'm going to finish this video now if you've got any questions feedback or concerns put them in the comment section down below other than that thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end uh, my name is david thorne see you in the next video ciao ciao and goodbye